Well, guys, it was a day that many patients and staff at Dartmouth Hitchcock will never forget. A shooting, an evacuation, and a lockdown. Well, tonight we're learning more details about 48 year old Travis Frink and his possible involvement in the incident. According to court documents, Travis Frink, a Warwick, Rhode Island native, went to Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center around 1.15 in the afternoon on Tuesday to visit his mother, 7-year-old Pamela Ferrier, who had been in intensive care unit for about two weeks. When Frink entered her room, he asked his stepfather, Robert Ferrier, for a moment alone with his mother. As Ferrier turned to leave, he heard Pamela shout or scream and then saw Frink point a gun at Pamela and shoot several times. Court documents also say a nurse who took cover after seeing Frank point the gun is now being supported by fellow staff. We have a team that's meeting her needs and um, and uh, we will follow their lead and, and her lead. We're going to support her during this. Around 520 in the afternoon, Frank was questioned by police. They say he waived his Miranda rights and admitted to investigators he drove up from Rhode Island and killed his mother. The incident caused a hospital evacuation and lockdown. Dartmouth Hitchcock officials say their emergency procedures worked as planned. Doctors and nurses are caring for patients. Food preparers are preparing food. Housekeepers are keeping house. And we are in recovery from this traumatic event. And Dartmouth Hitchcock will continue to be strong. Now again, Frank pleaded not guilty to his charge of first degree murder today, and the hospital is now evaluating safety protocols and procedures going forward. Live in Lebanon, New Hampshire, Jennifer Sheehan, NBC5 News.